Hey folks, Eric here, the whatever guy, because it really is whatever for me. And do you folks want to know about the AMCC awarding these licenses for a third time? You guys stick around, man, and we'll talk about that. As you guys know, man, my name is Eric. I am the whatever guy. I need to see videos a couple days a week, basically keeping you guys updated in the world Delta 8, Delta 9, Delta 10, hemp cannabis, just what's going on in our realm. And having said that, man, we are it reached a new milestone in the AMCC's awarding of these licenses. As I've said many times before, this has been a debacle. Uh, since the very beginning of it, and, and now seems like they are starting to get it straightened out. However, I will say that at this point in the game, um, I'm a little bit bummed. Now, I've been kind of bummed all weekend long. I um, found out, you know, the awarding of the licenses. And let me just say this, uh, three quarters of the way down through the cultivator license awarding, I already knew that Green Phoenix wasn't getting a license. Now, I don't know who made the decision uh, uh, for the company uh, not to make the presentation because I personally feel like if I ever get my owners up in front of someone, you're a sold person. Like Stacy is just a, a very uh, persuasive person, very knowledgeable person in what she does. And if I can, and I always feel like if I could just get her up in front of someone, uh, we would, we would have been awarded a license. I'm not sure, like I said, who exactly made the decision for Green Phoenix not to make the presentation. But having said that, you know, the argument or the, the discussion has been up to this point, how were these presentations going to change the awarding of the licenses? And it changed them a lot. Like it changed them a bunch. And let me just say that this is the last vestige of uh, Stephen Stokes. Like Stephen Stokes was the one that originally shot down the motion to, to allow these people to give these presentations and, and allow these commissioners to speak to the applicants. Stephen Stokes shot that down. And it seems like with the awarding of the licenses on Friday, we basically got rid of anything that Stephen Stokes had going on uh, with the commission because those presentations really changed uh, the way that those licenses were awarded. They, those commissioners were able to talk to those people and find out about how ready they were uh, to get mar medical marijuana up on a shelf within 60 days. Now, personally, I wanted to be working in a medical marijuana. I wanted to be working in uh, cannabis. Uh, obviously, I work in hemp. I, th I feel like I've got a lot to offer uh, the cannabis industry. You know, I'm, I'm a licensed electrician. There's not anything in facility maintenance that I don't understand. Um, I can stainless steel weld. I, I did, I've been a maintenance manager in a food grade environment. And obviously, I'm in marketing. I can build websites and bring your company into the 21st century as far as, you know, IT technology and stuff like that. I do a, a host of things. That's why they call me the whatever guy, because I do whatever it takes to make myself important in this industry. And it just seems like it, it, it's not been enough. And what I figured out uh, from Friday till now is that my emotional state now, you know, dictates my physical state. Now, I wasn't that way when I was in the Army back when I was younger. And, and possibly I'm being punished now for the way that I did life back then because my emotional state would never, I was able to, to, to separate the emotional state and physical state. And I and I think that from, from Friday on to today, I have not felt right. Like I've literally been piled up in the bed uh, on a couch, like hot, sweaty, clammy, uh, tightness in my chest. And, and it's just been a crazy situation for me all day. I was supposed to go over to our new shop yesterday and, and put up some stuff and get and get stuff ready for that. Uh, I don't even think I'll be able to make it over there today because like I said, I'm hot flashes, you know, I'm cold and clammy the next. And, and, and and all of this is just in an effect of what, you know, was brought on Friday. Now, I had my hopes up, but like I said, I told you guys, three quarters of the way through those cultivation uh, awarding of the licenses, I already knew Green Phoenix didn't get a license because those presentations changed uh, the way those licenses were presented. So we're going to flip over here to an article over here. I believe it's over here at Marijuana Moment. And basically, it's just an article that says Alabama regulators award mar uh, medical marijuana businesses for a third time. Um, so we're going to scroll down here and it says the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission Friday awarded 20 licenses for the production and distribution of medical cannabis in its third attempt to get a new industry started in the state. The awards followed three days of presentation from applicants and months of litigation over the MCC's prior methods of evaluating applications. The week had 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 a good process. It worked well, said Rex Vaughn, the chair of the AMCC. The presenters brought things to the forefront that maybe we didn't see otherwise, that you can't really see in a paper application. And let me just say that, like, uh, and I said, you know, Friday morning, uh, uh, I told you guys, that we talked about this, you know, Antoine Mordecai, when he got up, you know, I, I stated in the chat when I was watching that whole thing, he was the very first person to give a, a presentation in the cultivator uh, space. Now, I made a statement that I would want to be the last person to make a presentation. And my thinking was that, you know, I would want to be the last person on their mind at the end of the day. But I, I changed that at the end of that, because like I told you guys before, Antoine Mordecai made a very uh, perfect presentation. He actually brought things to the forefront that affected 
the, the presenters after that, like every presenter after that got asked how they were going to uh, educate people in Alabama about medical marijuana going forward. That was a plan that Antoine Mordecai pushed out before they even they, they they never even had a question of asking anything like that before before Antoine Mordecai got up and, and gave his presentation. So kudos to him. And obviously, uh, you know, Native Black Cultivation got their license. Uh, the commission can award up to 12 licenses to cultivate cannabis, four licenses for those who want to process it, and four licenses to dispense the product. There are no caps on licenses for secure transport and testing labs. Antoine Mordecai, CEO of Native, Native Black Cultivation, one of the companies denied a license in the first two rounds, received a cultivator license on Friday. Because I've said many times before, guys, if anybody in this space, now I work for, for him, and, and obviously I wanted Green Phoenix to get uh, a license. But however, I wanted Antoine Mordecai to get one more than me. Like I, I, I as much as I hate to admit it, um, I wanted to see, and I don't, I've never met Antoine Mordecai. I just know his work. I know his, his dedication. And obviously I grew up in Alabama, so I know uh, how black, uh, you know, Alabamians are affected in the state. And, and I felt like Antoine Mordecai should have been awarded a license in the first and second round. And obviously they got it right the third time. I'm happy the commission was able to hear me and give me, give my presentation and able to recognize the individual that operates the company, the individual that operates the company. Let me just say that too. It also seemed like that the majority of the people that got licensed were not conglomerate business owners. They weren't people that had four, five, six business owners. Definitely not companies out there that had 22 investors. Uh, when Antoine Mordecai got up there, he told that the commission, listen, I'm the owner. Uh, the buck stops here. I make the decisions and, and, and I don't have to go to four or five other people uh, to, get, to get a consensus of an answer. We, you can get your answer from me right now. The lawsuit alleging the commission violated the Open Meeting Act halted the process again in August. That prompted the commission to rescind the awards a second time, nego negotiating with claimants on a possible process to move forward with the awards. The MCC adopted new licensing and application rules in October after months of legal dispute and, and stalled settlement negotiations, which set the latest round of applications in motion. The Alabama legislature approved a medical cannabis program for the state in 2021, but the bill authorizing program did not allow licenses to be issued until September 1st of 2022. The MCC began accepting applications late last year. When the product is available, patients certified by participating physicians will be able to use medical cannabis for 15 conditions, including cancer, chronic pain, depression, and Parkinson's disease. Patients will have to apply for a card to obtain medical cannabis from licensed dispensers. The law forbids smoking medical cannabis or consuming it in food. It will be available as tablets, capsules, gelatins, oils, gels, creams, suppositories, transdermal patches, or inhalable oils or liquids. Cannabis gummies will only be allowed to be peach flavored, which Alabama, for those of you who don't know, Alabama is really the peach state. I don't know why they go with Georgia as the peach state, but Alabama <laughs> grows a lot of peaches. Matter of fact, it's the number one fruit that leaves the state of Alabama. 12 applicants vied for the uh, 12 cultivator licenses. Another 12 applied for four available processor licenses, while 18 applied have applied for the four dispensary licenses. The commission also received 11 applications for transport licenses and three applications for testing licenses. Mordecai said that as a black man, working twice as hard comes as, as second nature to him. He said that from the beginning, he used every tool at his disposal, at his disposal to, to provide the commission with information about his company. He garnered over 100 com comments on his application, showed up nearly every commission meeting, and vocalized his concern that the, his application was not properly evaluated. Just as, as an individual, I'm relentless. We're going to continue to press forward and continue to help people along the way. Okay, so these were the licenses that were awarded uh, for cultivator, uh, all the licenses were awarded on Friday. CRC of Alabama, Greenway Botanicals, uh, Gulf Shore Remedies, Native Black Cultivation, Creek Leaf Wellness, Twisted Herb Cultivation, IM Farms, and then we have Processors, which is Organic Harvest, Kusa Medical Manufacturing, 1819 Labs, which I believe they are the social equity uh, license in that group, and then Jasper Development Group. Now, we would have fell in this group right here, Green Phoenix would have fell in the processor uh, license if we had got one. Dispensaries. Uh, we have CCS of Alabama. We have GP6 Wellness. We have Capital Medical. And we have RGK, RJK Holdings. Uh, it doesn't say where it's uh, from. I guess in Montgomery. Uh, and then we have Secure Transport, which is Alabama Secure Transport, Tyler Van Lines, Pick Up My Things, and International Communication. And then we have one testing lab, which was... Um, Certus Laboratories. I find it interesting that they only uh, they had they didn't have no max cap on secure transport or testing lab. Uh, they only awarded one testing lab. I'm not sure uh, why that was. I'm not sure exactly what the what the deal was behind that. Maybe they were planning to uh, give 
uh, more licenses in the future as far as the labs go. Um, and, and I would think that if Certus Labs was going to uh, be the only laboratory, that they would have to have several locations. I didn't listen to that presentation the other day. Um, I, I, I Maybe I did, and I just wasn't listening to it because I'm not going to lie to you guys about it. After um, Antoine Mordecai gave his speech and I listened to the cultivator um, presentations, I really kind of lost interest along the way uh, up until the point where I figured out that, that we as a company weren't going to give a presentation, uh, which, we, we, which, like I said, really surprised me. I would have liked to, like I said, like to have been able to be working in cannabis. Uh, it just seems like that's not going to be the case uh, right now. Uh, and, and possibly, you know, as it stands, I am actively reevaluating my presence in this space. Um, I'm not sure that I want to be doing this, uh, you know, 10 years down the road. Obviously, I'm somebody that's pretty relentless. I've kept doing this, you know, for the last three, four, five years, uh, simply because I, I want to be in the cannabis business. It's something I love to do. I love being in hemp, um, but I'm just not sure that I want to be in this space anymore as far as making videos and stuff. And, I, and I'm really evaluating that uh, this week. So I'll talk to you guys later, man. I hope you're having a great week. And if you guys have any comments, please hit me down in the comments and we'll have a discussion and I'll talk to you guys later. And like I said, guys, congratulations to all those people that were awarded licenses, man. Uh, hopefully we can get this taken care of. And, and obviously moving forward, we've got presentations this next week for integrated facilities. There's only one company in the integrated facilities that I would like to see get a license and that's off city labs. I forget what their offshoot is for marijuana, the company, uh, Southern medical something anyway. But, but the point is, is that I'd like to see them get a license at least, I would be within an hour drive of someone that is, uh, you know, an integrated facility. That 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 would be maybe a win for me on the backside. All right, folks, this is whatever I'm signing up, and I'll talk to you guys later, man. Love you. See you.